This machine is chopping up prunings in a walnut orchard in Northern California. We do this instead of burning. It's better for the environment. And the chippings are incorporated back into the soil, which creates a, a mulch, a humus effect in the soil, which is good for the soil. This machine is capable of chopping up to four and five inch wood. Currently it's chopping up three, three inch, some four inch wood, and it's making quick work of it. That's, this machine's hardly knowing that it's actually working. This machine is a, uh, a Flory built machine, built here in California. It has a 450 horsepower motor, and it swings a hammer mill in the front of that machine. And a hammer mill just, it's exactly what it is, it's a hammer. It takes uh, a piece of iron and is swinging it, just like a hammer, impacting the wood and splintering it up into uh, very small pieces. The machine is on tracks for two reasons. One is for weight distribution. Uh, it's better balance, better handling. And on soft soils, wet soils, it, uh, it performs better. Typical cost of this machine is over $300,000. You can see the chips on the ground, how small they are. It's key to have these chips very small because walnuts are shook and they fall on the ground and then they're swept up and then hauled off to the processor. If the chips are too big, you get too much debris with the walnuts when you take them to the processor and it makes it difficult for processing. This way when the chips are small, uh, they fall through the machinery and never really get picked up and never make it to the processor. It makes a cleaner product. If you look at the bottom of the machine in the front, there's a rotating head that's rotating upwards. Uh, that rotation lifts the brush into the feed. There's a good shot of it right there. You can see it spinning on the bottom there. That lifts the brush up into the into the shredding unit, into the hammer mill. This operation is something we do every winter on most California permanent crops. We'll go through and prune off unwanted vegetation, keep the trees in shape, prune out diseases, and then we'll come through with a machine similar to this. This is probably the biggest machine we use. Uh, there's many machines that are smaller for various size jobs. And then we'll go through and shred the material up, incorporate it back in the ground. And most of California is going that way with uh, no burning, uh, shredding and incorporating the prunings back into the ground.